Today, I'm making perfect pesto. To start, add some oil to a skillet, add the pine nuts, and toast them until they're evenly brown. Pour the pine nuts onto a plate to cool. Pull the stems from four ounces of basil, and when you're done, you should have about three ounces of leaves. Salt the boiling water, then blanch the basil leaves for a few seconds. This helps lock in the bright green color once the pesto is pureed. Quickly transfer the leaves to a salad spinner and spin them dry. This is gonna keep any unwanted water from diluting the flavor of the pesto. Lay the basil on a dish towel to wick away any of the excess moisture. Grab the food processor and process that Parmesan until finely ground. Hold the Parmesan to add to the pesto at the end. Add the blanched basil, toasted pine nuts, the garlic, the salt, and the olive oil to the food processor and process until smooth. Stir the pureed pesto into that bowl of Parmesan. Holding the Parmesan until the very end helps preserve some of its texture so you get nice little pops of Parmesan flavor. I have a pound of freshly cooked pasta here. I'm gonna add the pesto and a little bit of that pasta cooking water and toss to combine. Green, bright, and flavorful, perfect pesto. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>